From a young Disney star to a powerful actress and advocate, Selena Gomez has navigated a journey filled with personal trials, health scares, and unexpected friendships. After years of turmoil, both physically and emotionally, Gomez has found solace and joy in the most unexpected places, alongside two comedy legends, Steve Martin and Martin Short. Their unique bond has transformed her post-Disney career, marking what she calls the best era of her life. Selena Gomez rose to fame as a Disney darling, beloved for her role as Alex Russo on Wizards of Waverly Place. Surrounded by fellow Disney stars like Miley Cyrus and Demi Lovato, she seemed destined for a life in the spotlight. However, beneath the glamorous red carpets and chart-topping singles, Gomez was fighting a battle few knew about. Between 2012 and 2014, she was diagnosed with lupus, an autoimmune disorder that would go on to reshape her entire existence. The diagnosis led to a significant break from her career, during which Gomez sought treatment not only for her physical health but also for her mental well-being. As she battled anxiety, depression, and even bipolar disorder, her life took unexpected turns. But in the midst of these challenges, Gomez would discover a new sense of purpose and friendship in her work on Only Murders in the Building alongside Steve Martin and Martin Short. When Only Murders in the Building was first announced, many wondered how Selena Gomez, then in her late 20s, would fit in with the veteran comedic duo of Steve Martin and Martin Short, who were both in their 70s. The two actors had been an iconic comedy pair for decades, celebrated for films like Three Amigos and their legendary joint tours. But Gomez brought a fresh energy to their dynamic, and from the moment the show premiered in 2021, it became clear that the chemistry between the trio was undeniable. Their portrayal of quirky podcasters trying to solve a murder captivated audiences, turning the show into an instant hit. For Gomez, this collaboration became more than just a successful acting venture, it was a lifeline during one of the most difficult periods of her life. After years of health issues, including a life-saving kidney transplant in 2017 and a terrifying psychotic episode in 2018, Gomez was emotionally drained. Diagnosed with bipolar disorder, she had to undergo intensive treatment and begin a new chapter of self-care. It was around this time that she began working with Martin and Short, and the two comedic legends quickly became more than just co-stars, they became mentors, friends, and, as Gomez affectionately calls them, her crazy uncles. In interviews, Gomez has often spoken about the impact Martin and Short have had on her life. On the set of Only Murders in the Building, they constantly uplifted her, asking about her character, valuing her input, and ensuring that she felt included. This camaraderie helped Gomez find joy and belonging in an industry that had often left her feeling isolated. Their friendship blossomed both on and off the screen, with the duo frequently showering her with words of wisdom, flowers for her Emmy nomination, and unwavering support during her rough patches. They helped her feel safe, grounded, and loved during a time when she desperately needed it. This friendship was on full display during award shows like the Emmys and Screen Actors Guild, SAG, awards, where their bond was evident. One memorable moment went viral when Gomez, feeling unsteady on her feet while walking on stage at the Emmys, whispered her concerns to Martin Short. Without hesitation, he wrapped his arm around her and reassured her, I got you, baby. The internet was quick to praise the duo for their genuine care for Gomez, with many fans commenting that the friendship with Martin and Short was one of the best things to happen to her in recent years. For Selena, only murders in the building wasn't just another acting project, it marked the beginning of what she would call her best era. After years of fighting battles in private, she finally felt like she had found a place where she belonged. Reflecting on this period, Gomez has often said that she is surrounded by people who make her better and remind her to be grateful for every moment. She has called this era the happiest of her life, crediting Martin and Short for helping her reach this point. In fact, their influence has been so profound that Gomez felt comfortable introducing her boyfriend, record producer Benny Blanco, to Martin and Short at the 2024 Primetime Emmy Awards.
though was seen as a significant step forward in Gomez's personal life, with sources describing the comedy legends as father figures to her. Their friendship has flourished beyond the show, with the trio frequently spending time together, supporting one another's careers, and, most importantly, reminding Gomez that she's never alone. Selena Gomez's journey from Disney darling to accomplished actress and advocate has been filled with ups and downs, but her friendship with Steve Martin and Martin Short has been a stabilizing force through it all. After years of health scares and personal struggles, Gomez has emerged stronger, happier, and surrounded by the type of love and support she once felt was missing. Her friendship with Martin and Short is more than just an on-screen collaboration, it's a reflection of the deep bond that has helped carry her through one of the most challenging periods of her life. As Gomez enters this new chapter, fans can see that she's not just surviving, she's thriving in what is truly her best era yet.